We're back here with Triple Speed Speed Triple. Now, just to catch you guys up that weren't watching, we took a brand new Triumph Speed Triple 1000 cc's monster of a bike, awesome riding machine, and we stripped it down naked to what you see here. We're down to the, the motor, the frame, the wheels, and now we're gonna construct a Tremoto leaning three-wheeler. Basically what happens is you lean this over, spindles, oh, spindle, spindle turns, lean it the other way, spindle turns, wheels turn, and as you can see in a previous bike, it gets like 45 degrees. Awesome! What does it ride like? Only Eddie and the small number of people have ever ridden one know, and we're gonna find out. And the first kind of order of business is we're taking their little jig and we need to get some pieces tacked together and welded together. So um, I'm gonna get some more of this welded. We're gonna start with that. And from there, we're gonna move into where we've got a machine and bore a hole. Uh, and Wes is in the other room that's gonna do that. So here we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you scared me. Got this all finished up. Oh, yeah. We used that hole saw, and it actually came out a lot better than using the end mill. Yeah. Oh, so. Okay. Good. Cool. All right. Well, if you'll grab the rest of those parts, we're uh, moving on. All right. Sweet. Okay, Maggie, are you getting excited? We're about to put the front end together. I know, I know, it's hard to control ourselves. It's hard! So, check it out. We're getting pretty close. Now, what we did was, we've taken, obviously, these tubes, and we're making the foundation of the front suspension. So, in all kinds of modern vehicles, you want to make the, the, the frame nice and strong, then you're going to have your movement that's going on on each side. So, got that all fixtured. Welded it last night where you guys were all sleeping in bed and taking a snooze. And now you can see where it is at this point. We've got it pressed into a really nice fit into the neck. We've done some of the pre mock up and to make sure everything's good, but we still have a lot of things to do. So next, let's pre assemble and see where we're at. Okay, we have our hub, got our bearing in there. We need to install studs. Before you do this, I wanna make sure you clean the threads, put a little lacquer thinner, whatever you have, some kind of cleaner. Clean your threads both sides because that's gonna make sure that it sticks and especially on a wheel, you don't want it coming off. Now when you put it on, if you're cool like us, you use a, oh, look at there, an OTC stud remover and install kit. Put that on. Once you put your Loctite in on there, get your half-inch wrench, tighten it up good, pull it off, and you're good to go. Now, next thing we'll do, once I get these studs in, install the rotor. So now we need to basically brace this main structure we're calling the trunnion. So Wes is gonna bend a couple of tubes, notch them in the notcher. That way they can be fit and welded and bolted back into the main frame and also triangulate to the front, thereby making it nice and strong. Whoa, we're getting a three-wheeler. All right, it's time to get rid of this old exhaust. Wes is gonna remove that because We've got this new, brand new, amazing exhaust from Aero. All right, look at this beautiful stainless steel machining, man. CNC that Aero does on their exhaust. Now the Triumph head has an oval port, comes into a round, and then 
you grab this beautiful flange that's TIG welded by some alien who can weld better than anybody else I know. Totally makes me mad, huh? Yeah, it's very what irritating. Think? No, it's very, it's a super nice exhaust system. Tons of power, thing's gonna sound awesome, looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Get over there, man, let's get this thing on. It's officially the leaner. Huh? Yeah. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Sweet, man. 42 degrees of good fun action. So now we have to put the bump stops in. We got to finish the steering, get the handlebars in place. And if you see some of the future episodes, we're going to go ahead and put the fairing on. We'll uh, obviously, we've got to finish the coating, pick the colors, yeah. get some headlights, powder coat, ARP, everything, get all our parts back on, get this thing running and riding. Yep. So it's going to be awesome. I'm pretty stoked with where it's at, and I can't wait to see what happens next. And hopefully you do too. Go to otctools.com. You can see the rest of the videos, obviously tools, tricks, and lots of fun stuff. So yeah. unfortunately for us, we got to get back in there and go finish this thing. Yeah. But then we get to ride. Exactly. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Man.